Good morning, everyone. Um, so today I'm going to be presenting some of my thesis research, um, which is developing a technology, targeted delivery technology for Factor 8, um, which leverages uh, platelet behavior. So just a brief overview, um, hemophilia is a bleeding disorder. These patients don't produce Factor 8. This is a necessary protein in the clotting cascade. Um, so when they do experience a bleed, they have to receive uh, injections of human-derived or uh, recombinant uh, factor eight. And the uh, goal is to produce a stable clot. A particular concern is um, when patients develop inhibitory antibodies to this replacement therapy. Um, these antibodies bind to the factor eight drug, rendering it ineffective. Um, and so they're left with a uh, few alternative treatment options, all have uh, pretty severe drawbacks. And so we kind of postulated um, if we could uh, encapsulate factor eight and deliver it in a targeted fashion, could we make it work for patients with inhibitory antibodies? Um, so that's what I've developed in my thesis research. Uh, I've developed a microcapsule particle, and inside is uh, loaded with factor eight. And on the surface of these uh, particles, we display fibrinogen. Now, this is a human protein. Once these particles are injected into the patient's uh, blood system, the patient's own platelets actually bind to the particle through that surface fibrinogen. And so when they're um, circulating in non-target areas, areas with no vascular injury, um, they're inert. However, when they flow into an area of injury, um, the platelets essentially activate and turn on. This allows the microcapsule to stick to the site of injury. And then platelets um, exhibit this really cool behavior where they contract like a muscle during clot formation. And so we're using that contraction to physically rupture the microcapsule uh, polymer wall. And this delivers a very high dose of factor VIII locally to the site of injury uh, in hopes to promote coagulation. Now, importantly for patients with inhibitory antibodies, the microcapsule physically shields the factor VIII drug from the patient's antibodies. And so it, the antibodies are, won't bind to it during circulation, um, and that will facilitate coagulation once it's delivered. Um, now, you can think of the polymer microcapsule as um, a, a, a gumball structure. It's hollow in the center. Um, that's where the factory is encapsulated. Um, and then the gum part of the gumball would be the polymer shell and then uh, the fibrinogen on the surface, um, again, to facilitate platelet adherence. Um, and you see in the top right corner, those are confocal images of what they actually look like. And you can see that the fibrinogen is localized to the outside of the microcapsule. Um, so the first steps in, in uh, this developing the system was to see platelets actually bind to these microcapsules. And you can see in the bottom left corner um, that image that they do bind to the microcapsule. Um, and then we looked at static um, clot environments. Um, basically, can platelets actually break them open uh, when they're contracting on the microcapsule? In the bottom three images, um, you can see the platelets in blue, uh, they can actually break open the microcapsule when they're contracting on it and deliver um, a drug. In this case, you can see it's labeled with the red and it's popping out of the microcapsule. So we wanted to evaluate this uh, system in a more physiologic environment. So to do that, we used microfluidics. Um, these are channels on the micron scale, um, and it allows you to incorporate flow into your system, giving you a more physiologic environment. Um, and so here we're looking at fibrin formation, which is an indication of clotting over time. Um, and this is uh, a healthy patient control. Um, oh boy, hold on. And you can see the blue are platelets, and the green is fibrin, and over time fibrin occurs, um, indicating clot formation. And so we're looking at fibrin formation um, in these experiments. In particular, I want to draw your attention to the left three bars in the graph. Um, here we're using healthy blood to kind of look at the system and make sure that it's doing what we think it is. And you can see that the, the black graph is the healthy patient control. Um, the gray graph, or the gray bar, is systemic infusion um, of factor eight. And then the white bar is factor eight loaded in the microcapsules. And you can see that there is an increase in fibrin, even in healthy blood, when we're delivering factor eight in our microcapsules. Now we wanted to look at, OK, well, how's, will this actually work for hemophilia patients with inhibitory antibodies? So we mix in um, the inhibitor, a factor eight inhibitory antibody 276. 
And you can see that even at extremely small levels of factor eight, we're still getting a huge increase in fibrin formation when factor eight is loaded into the microcapsules. Um, so this was really promising results, but we wanted to take a step back, if you will, and look at, well, can this actually promote bulk blood clotting? Um, and so we did a well plate study where we're, we're just looking at how long does it take for your blood to clot. And in particular, I want to draw your attention to healthy control. It's pretty much clotted at 20 minutes. When uh, you have this factory inhibitory antibody, it can take you um, about an hour and a half to clot. And so um, comparing systemic infusion to factory inner microcapsules takes you almost an hour when you're uh, delivering factory in systemic infusion. Um, but with our microcapsules, we're getting back to uh, a healthy clotting regime of around 20 to 30 minutes. So moving forward, I um, have a couple more in vitro experiments to do. Um, we're looking at further increasing factor eight efficacy uh, by including von Willebrand factor, and then we'll be moving into mice models. And the implications for this research, um, this is a completely new par paradigm in targeted delivery using platelet biomechanics um, to target and deliver a drug. And then furthermore, this system can be efficacious for patients uh, with inhibitory antibodies. Thank you.